Hey y'all, Knox here with the American Suppressor Association and welcome to the April 2024 Suppressor Policy Update. Let's jump in with the question that's on everyone's mind. Where are the wait times? When we first started hearing about rapid NFA transfer times, we at ASA were a bit skeptical to say the least. After a decade of spearheading initiatives to decrease wait times, it's safe to say that we had been sold a bill of goods by ATF on more than one occasion. Given our history and our experiences, we had little reason to believe that this time would be any different. Thankfully, we could not have been more wrong. Since February, wait times for eForm4 applications have all but evaporated, thanks in large part to the American Suppressor Association's collaboration with ATF. If you want to learn more about why transfer times are so much faster and the work ASA did to make it a reality, check out our videos either below or at the link in bio. Now, none of this would have happened without ASA Vice President Owen Miller or without the current leadership at the NFA division, so hats off to both of them. According to ATF, on March 1st, eForm 4s averaged 89 days for individuals and 196 days for NFA trusts. As of April 1st, those numbers fell respectively to 53 days for individuals and 166 days for trusts. Now, 53 and 166 days doesn't sound like an evaporation of wait times to me, but there's more to it than meets the eye. Those averages include old applications, as well as the 30% or so of applications whose NICS checks were delayed by FBI. If you want tips on how to ensure your application doesn't get delayed, check out our video that explains just that. According to our friends at Silencer Shop, the median wait time for customers is three days for individuals. Three days, with many applications receiving approvals in a day or less. On the trust side, their median wait is 127 days, with many applicants who use standardized trusts like the Single Shot Trust receiving them back in a matter of days. Now, it's going to take a few more months for the average and the median transfer times to reflect the relevant times for new eForm4 applications, but it's safe to say at this point that fast NFA times are, in fact, the new norm. In my 15 years in the suppressor industry, there truly hasn't been a better time to buy a suppressor. Speaking of a better time, there is one thing that would make it better for millions of Americans, and that is the legalization of suppressors in the eight states where they are currently prohibited. That's why the ASA Foundation and Silencer Shop teamed up to sue the state of Illinois on the grounds that their outright ban on suppressors violates the Second Amendment. The ASA Foundation's goal is to file additional lawsuits in New Jersey and California and ultimately bring our case to the Supreme Court. If we succeed, not only would suppressors become legal in all 50 states, they would also be protected against any state or federal attempts to ban them. With anti-gun legislatures like Colorado on the rise, that would be an absolute game changer. On October 30th, the ASA Foundation will host its second annual Silent Night Banquet in Austin, Texas to raise money for these lawsuits. In order to have a successful event, we need your support, so keep an eye out in the coming weeks once tickets go live. Now, if you like what ASA is doing and want to support our work, click the link below or visit us at asamember.com, that's asamember.com, to join or donate to ASA today. Thank you so much for tuning in. We look forward to seeing you next month.